Hallelujah. I'm just going to uh, <coughs> welcome everybody. Uh, this is a uh, song of territory. And uh, this song that I'm going to sing is to uh, welcome you to the Stalo territory. This is sacred ground. That's what the uh, that's what the lyrics say in this uh, the song I'm going to sing. <coughs> I am I in chat or Sean Atlio, otherwise known as, and in my language, just uh, explaining that I come from a house at west coast of Vancouver Island. I'm honored to be here and thankful to be here in your territories, and thank you for the welcome and to acknowledge the song and the drum and to say thank you to all of you for being here. I really appreciated sitting down with the chiefs in the, in the Chilcotin Territory and uh, Chief Marilyn in, in inviting me to, uh, to join in this morning. We recognize that what's happening up in the interior in, in uh, Fish Lake is connected to what's going on right here as is connected to what's happening on the west coast of Vancouver Island. Those same fish that travel up and down this this important river system are the same ones that travel offshore in my territories. My late grandfather used to take me offshore until you could just about not see those thousand foot mountains on the west coast and he would say that's the edge of our territories instructed that we have responsibilities each and every one of us to care for our territories and it, so it is that the Stalo, the indigenous peoples, First Nations but indeed all British Columbians and Canadians we've inherited a responsibility to take care of all living things that uh, we're interconnected with that we rely on and so to recognize a symbol so iconic and so deeply connected to all of us as the salmon is deeply appreciated. I know my ancestors would be expressing their thanks and saying, let go. And I know that the journey that's that's uh, being undertaken here is symbolic of a bigger journey, of a, of a reconnection of people to the, to the world around them. There's an awakening happening and the Indigenous peoples are helping to lead the way back so that we all understand how we're related to the to life around us, that the trees are alive and all all things are living, including as my 
late grandfather would say even the stones are alive and must be respected. And so it is that we're on this great journey back to return to balance and harmony with the living environment and we look to our relative the salmon. We look to the salmon as a, as a really important indicator of the health and well-being and whether I go to King Come Inlet and see the great floods that the people just got exposed to. They're pushed out of their community and you travel up and down the river system and you see the over harvesting that happened just like was happening in my communities when 21 of 27 rivers were killed because of the uh, over harvesting of the forest right to the water's edge. And then um, in the 90s was the introduction of the open net uh, fish farm systems up and down the coast. And at times we can feel feel somewhat powerless to the great uh, to the great influences that come and, and have such a major impact on things like mining and mining proposals, like at Fish Lake, like forestry. We know that he, the, the human beings around this globe are touching the environment and are altering.